the nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They are demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You will have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. SDV gets as close as it can. Dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, Master of Disguise. Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, Specialist in Interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one-man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support.
surveillance camera. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not going to believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. Snake, this is McDonnell Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? Oh, they just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. <coughs> <sighs> really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah, and they say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the Chief. Press the action button to drop down. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it.
radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Approach the ladder and press the action button to climb it. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy. That woman is built all right. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. <sighs> Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for the keeping of dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. 
How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you are here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password or there can be no launch, but... <laughs> they found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist! Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Arms Tech the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key... So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a PAN card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as a transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. 
So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But, what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? <laughs> Naomi, the chief, what happened? I... Uh, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No! Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker.